Google Analytics, probably one of the more complicated services Google offers. New features are being added all the time and we have to keep up with it. Now, most people really only skim the surface of what analytics can actually do. But guess what? Today, we're not most people, especially today. I'm Phil Pallant and I'm an LA-based brand strategist. And today, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Events, as well as setting up an event value. An event is when a user interacts with content that can be tracked on its own, separate from a web page or a screen load. So downloads, clicks on mobile ads, flash elements, video plays, maybe you've got an app that you wanna track. Tracking events is how you do it. Now, Google recommends, and so do I, that a qualified developer do the technical setup required for tracking events because it can get pretty complicated. Event values are one of the several components you can define for your tracking and you'd use it to set a numerical that variable, like a number uh, or a value based on something you've defined somewhere else. Now, I obviously can't tell you how to set up your event value because it's gonna be different for every single person, but I can show you where to go. Let's take a look. Here we are in Google Analytics. I'm gonna click admin on the top right hand side. Now you're gonna to wanna to choose whatever website profile you're interested in setting this up for. In this case, I'm gonna use my own website. So I've clicked it, now I'm gonna click on goals. And I'm gonna create a brand new goal. And we're gonna to wanna to name it something. So just for the purpose of this, I'm gonna put new goal. But you're gonna to wanna to call it something else so you know what it's about. And then if you're setting up an event, you click the event button. And we'll do next step. And here, it shows you all the different settings that you can set for this event. Category, action, label, as well as value. Again, this is gonna differ for every single person based on what your goal is. Once you've specified it, go ahead and click Create Goal. Now, do your best to keep it as organized as possible so you know what the heck you got going on in there. For more information, I suggest visiting the Google Support website. They'll have more information like the Developer's Guide, which is gonna help you walk through each step you need for your custom setup. And if you're like me, you'll probably end up calling a developer before venturing down that road. I'm Phil Pallon. Good luck.